In May 2021, Claire and I were lucky enough to go to the Marceden Composites factory in Lorient, France. Marceden are well known at building some of the world's fastest offshore multi-holes. They also build the new ORC 42, 50 and 57. We had a look on board the 42, the new ORC 42 Aviva while there. You can see here this boat's got the uh, stern extensions which extend the boat 44 feet. You can see the tiller exiting the deck there. Tiller on each side, port and starboard. And they're easily reached from the helm position, which is up on the gunnel there. The seat on each side with a really high back. Fantastic helming positions. These are a performance boat that do a lot of racing. So those twin helms outboard there give you great vision of the sails. three 300 watt solar panels on the back giving you uh, a total of 900 watts of solar you can see the davits there look a little bit light to us but they have these installed on all the boats they seem to do the job you got the uh, soft closing door of the bulkhead there once that's open you've got a really good open uh, exterior and interior area there really joins both areas together as one You've got a, a little Lumar hatch there which goes through to the engine room and you've got your wind instruments and uh, all your clutches and winches and uh, engine controls right at hand there beside, beside the helm seat. Up on the saloon you can see the 3D sheeting system which gives you really good control over the sheeting angle for the jib or genoa. These symmetrical dagger boards, so they're interchangeable between each side. These boats also come with a mini keel for anyone that doesn't want a dagger board. Okay, looking aft now, we've got four small portholes there underneath the mast. This is a standard alloy mast on this boat, but those four portholes there give uh, fantastic ventilation through to the saloon inside. You've got two hatches there either side of the windlass, great for storage and uh, another two hatches on the bows of this boat both port and starboard offer great access to uh, big large deep lockers for sail storage this boat's got the optional extra carbon cross beam forward cross beam and carbon longer on standard stainless steel safety lines and standard stainless steel uh, staunchions really nice plum bows these boats have got a great shape uh, really good uh, volume inside them and uh, you can look now just underneath the bridge deck and you can clearly see the uh, the good clearance between the water and the bridge deck here which uh, offers really nice uh, sea keeping abilities no uh, less slamming and uh, lots of comfort in big seas you got the escape hatch there on the port side Okay, now coming inside, you can see Claudia there at the galley. She's got plenty of head height. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I struggled a bit inside. I'm six foot four and uh, around about 194 centimetres tall. You can see double sinks and a double gas burner stove. Plenty of room. The interior of the boat was fantastic. We really liked the simplicity. Super simple, lots of storage. Yeah, a little access there to the bin, great chopping board, really good access underneath the sink. So if you've got any leaks or anything, really easy to monitor and uh, easy to fix. Nice day bed over there on the port side and a really nice uh, settee area. The table's removable as well, it can go outside. Little nav station there just to starboard. Super simple boats, fantastic. You've got uh, access to the bin compartment underneath here through that door, really easy, keeps all the rubbish in one spot. And then down through this watertight uh, hatch, you've got access to the hulls. So you've got a double, really large double, more like a queen aft there, with a uh, super simple storage, uh, wet weather gear, storage for hanging clothes. And you've got the thermostat there for the diesel heater on board, small single bunk, and then uh, you've got your escape hatch, your starboard hull escape hatch. And then you've got your head and uh, sink area. So you've got your bathroom and then forward of that you've got your shower. So it's really nice. They're both in separate compartments. 
you got your uh, dagger board case on the inside of the hull there. And then uh, the, you can see the steps here are molded into the hull. So uh, really fairly uh, easy access in and out, but definitely um, you know, not as, uh, as big and as voluminous as your uh, large cruising molly hulls. This boat's definitely aimed at simplicity and performance. Good storage along the back of the galley there. Nice little nav station. Perfect, all you need really. And then those hatches that open up and they give you great ventilation into the saloon. You can see the deck heads here, there are none. It's pretty much just uh, undercoated and painted uh, fiberglass surfaces. Got that nice day bed there off to port, which gives you another bunk. And then uh, again, access through the watertight bulkhead, which I really like because it virtually makes that uh, bridge deck saloon area something that you can hose out. And, uh, and then these, uh, these hulls remain watertight. Access is a bit tight down to the hull. And then the same, you've got your uh, double bed aft. Great little cabins. All you need really to cruise simply. Got your daggerboard casing, and then again, hanging space. And then this one has a, um, the head and, uh, and shower areas just moved one compartment aft. There's your escape hatch in where the shower is. And you've got your bathroom or your toilet, your head and your sink area just aft of the shower. And then forward of the shower, you have virtually just like a machinery space. We have a small three kilogram washer. You can see it mounted to the hull there. And then forward of that, they've got the um, freezer fitted. These boats are very adaptable to whatever you want. You can have a single berth there in a cabin or you can have a watertight bulkhead. It's really up to uh, the person that's uh, building the boat. We really like the idea of the roll-up doors. It's definitely not everyone's favorite, but we like the idea that those two small windows either side of the saloon pull out and that that big, uh, big soft door there rolls up and creates a lovely open space. Fantastic fridge access here. You see really deep refrigeration pocket and uh, really great to see the uh, insulation so thick and the uh, plate for the fridge wrapped around there. You got these new really nice Weimar light switches. So they're actually not wired into anything. They work remotely and wirelessly and you can fit the switch to wherever you want. And, uh, and then it uh, connects to the network and turns on whatever light and switch you have it programmed to. see the carbon compression post here that's put in for the uh, 3d jib track system just to give the roof a bit of support there and uh, on each boat they're done differently some of them they were matte and other boats they were gloss okay moving back to the exterior again now you can see how uh, they're fitting the sails here you can see all the deck hardware is really nice it's either um, Harkin or uh, Fucknor or Carver and uh, these sails went into halyard locks at the top of the mast there. And these guys were fitting everything, just getting it ready as the boat was gonna go out and do a test sail the following day. Okay, coming along a, uh, another ORC 42 that had been recently launched when we were there. This one's called Tofino. She had a lot of upgrades, definitely uh, performance-based. Uh, carbon longer on, carbon uh, forward crossbeam, carbon rig, carbon bulkheads, and a really nice set of new sails. As we walk down the back, you can see that the solar panels there are just tending down a little bit. So that's what the davits look like when they've got the weight of the tender there. I'd say bouncing around and uh, bashing into a swell would definitely uh, make those panels and that, that davit system flex a bit. This boat's got the uh, rigid doors at the back to 
close off that back bulkhead. But you can see same uh, tiller, same seating, you know, uh, NKU instruments on this boat, Harkin winches. You can see the upside down jam cleat here for uh, releasing sheets and that when you're sailing, probably shorthanded. This boat's also got the backrest there for the aft seat and a uh, really well set up boat. She was very, uh, very nice. Okay, we're walking up to GDD here, which is a uh, ORC 50. So you've got the 42 here with the stern extension. And then if I uh, take a look here back to the right, you'll see the uh, the stern of this boat's actually been filled in. This boat's definitely uh, race orientated. Everything on this boat was carbon. It even had a pedestal in the cockpit and uh, the back bulkhead was carbon and the boat was totally stripped out nothing inside so this boat really is aimed purely just to race and to go as fast as possible you can see the uh, lashings and all the rope work are uh, really professional super nice stuff on this boat it was uh, really nice to see it all up close friction rings to run all the uh, furling lines through really nice anodized aluminium uh, tow rail here which is great for tying sails to you can see where all the sheets come back along the uh, roof of the saloon there and then uh, they come down through the uh, roof and then through turning blocks and to winches in the cockpit that's pretty standard for both sides of the boat both port and starboard <laughs> 